Sasuke is one of the strongest characters in the entire history of the ninja universe. And because of that, he carries an extensive arsenal of powers and jutsus with him. Seriously, if you think he only has Chidori and the Amaterasu, you're completely mistaken. Sasuke actually possesses more than 26 different powers and jutsus. So, in order for you to recall all these abilities, watch the video until the end. Because I'm gonna show you all of Sasuke's powers, from when he was a child, to the current events in Boruto. And I assure you, there are powers you might have forgotten about, or didn't even know existed. Being a prominent ninja in the lightning style, Sasuke can utilize numerous variations of the lightning technique. Additionally, he possesses the Mangekyu Sharingan and the Rinnegan, which elevates his combat prowess to another level, and further expands his arsenal of jutsu. To kick off this video in the best way, go ahead and launch your Chidori onto the like button to help us bring you more Naruto videos on this channel. And if you are a true Sasuke fan, of course, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. True power lies in being a subscriber, right here on the Nerdficando channel. Chidori To start off, let's talk about the variations of the Chidori. In its original form, the Chidori is a technique that allows the user to channel a large amount of lightning into their hand. This enables Sasuke to focus the strike on a single point of the enemy's body, causing even more damage. Chidori Eiso From the lightning of the Chidori, Sasuke can extend its range to a maximum length of 5 meters. This allows him to slice through his enemies in a highly electrifying manner. Chidori Nagashi This is a very interesting technique that Sasuke can use with a great precision against multiple enemies at once. To perform this technique, he uses his Chidori to discharge electricity throughout the surrounding environment causing the enemies to suffer from electric shocks. Chidori Senbon Sasuke employs his Chidori to create a kind of electric needles, where all of them penetrate the enemy's body, with the intention of paralyzing them. An example of this is when he faced Aidara and his clay spiders. But with the Chidori Senbon, Sasuke managed to render all of them useless. Chidori Fuma Shuriken In this technique, he infuses his Chidori into a Fuma Shuriken, which thus becomes a sort of electric Shuriken. Just imagine the havoc a giant Shuriken can wreak. Now, picture that Shuriken imbued with Chidori. It's undoubtedly very powerful. Habataku Chidori This was the Chidori used by Sasuke during his first battle against Naruto at the Valley of the End. In his cursed seal transformation, he created a sort of dark Chidori which proved to be strong enough to go head to head with Naruto's Rasengan in his Tailed Beast Cloak mode. Kuroki Chidori This is a variation of the Chidori that closely resembles the one I mentioned earlier. However, the Kuroki Chidori can only be used by Sasuke when he receives the power from the Sage of the Six Paths. Just imagine the power of a Chidori combined with Hagoromo's abilities. It's certainly one of the strongest. Takemikazuchi This is one of the coolest Chidoris in the series. With this, Sasuke creates his normal Chidori and then infuses the lightning with the flames of Amaterasu, essentially creating a fusion of Amaterasu and the Chidori. It's quite overpowered. Kirin This is another very interesting technique that Sasuke uses sparingly. In this scenario, he creates lightning from the clouds, with this, he summons an immense lightning dragon to attack his enemies. The destructive power of this move is so significant that it can completely alter the weather of the area where he unleashes the attack. Kusanagi Chidori Gatana This variation of the Chidori allows Sasuke to infuse his lightning into his sword. As a result, the sword gains such immense power that it can cut through even steel. Additionally, its speed reaches such levels that it becomes nearly impossible to evade. We could even name this technique Electric Sword, Shujin Tentegatana. This jutsu doesn't have much difference in terms of power and speed compared to other Chidori techniques. The only distinction is that it has purple hue 
and is used by Sasuke after the fourth ninja war, Genjutsu. Using this technique, Sasuke can immerse the victim in a Genjutsu of nightmares, where he creates illusions that affect and incapacitates the victim. Even Sai, who usually lacks emotions, was affected by his Genjutsu. Fire Style Fireball Jutsu Just like all Uchiha, Sasuke has also refined the Fireball Jutsu, which involves expelling a burst of flames from his mouth. Fire Style Great Fire Dragon Technique In addition to spewing fire from his mouth, he can also shape the flames into the form of a dragon to attack his enemies with even more precision. Summoning Technique Sasuke is one of the few ninjas capable of summoning two different animals, the snake Aoda and also Garuda, a hawk he calls upon to assist him in aerial combat. Snakes With Orochimaru's guidance, Sasuke learned to summon regular sized snakes to aid him in battle. With their help, he can defend himself and attack enemies in an even more effective manner. Jutsu Duplication Moving on the powers of the Sharingan, we have the characteristic Uchiha ability to copy all Jutsu, allowing them to replicate any technique simply by observing with their Sharingan. However, this technique cannot copy Kekei Genkai, as these abilities are specific to particular clans. Amaterasu After awakening his Mangekyu Sharingan, Sasuke learns to control the Amaterasu, which are internal flames that do not extinguish for 7 days and 7 nights, no matter what. These flames are so potent that they can defeat even the strongest of Sasuke's enemies, as seen when he defeated Killer B, who, despite being stronger, was overcome by Amaterasu. Kagutsuchi Kagutsuchi is the ability that allows Sasuke to manipulate and control the Amaterasu flames, both for offensive and defensive purposes. He can use the flames as a shield to protect himself. Susanu. Upon awakening the third power of the Mangekyu Sharingan, Sasuke can summon the Susanu, a massive humanoid made of chakra, capable of easily destroying huge mountains. Kagutsuchi Arrow In his Susanu mode, Sasuke can summon a colossal bow made of chakra. To fire, he shapes the Amaterasu flames into an arrow. This transforms the bow into an Amaterasu bow. Ameno Tejikara Moving on to the powers of the Rinnegan, we have Ameno Tejikara, an exclusive technique Sasuke gains upon awakening his Rinnegan. With this, he gains the ability to teleport and switch places with any person or object. An example of this was seen in his battle against Momoshiki, where, despite being bound by chains, Sasuke managed to switch his position with Momoshiki's, trapping him in the chains instead. Space-time Dojutsu with the Rinnegan, Sasuke can also travel between dimensions, such as Kaguya's dimensions and those used by the Kara organization. Chibaku Tensei Certainly, Chibaku Tensei is one of the most powerful sealing jutsu, perhaps only second to the Shiki Fujin. With this technique, Sasuke can create a gravitational center that pulls in everything around it and forms a massive celestial body using debris and rocks effectively imprisoning his opponent. The capabilities of this jutsu are beyond imagination. Sasuke managed to seal all nine-tailed beasts using Chibaku Tensei, as if they were nothing. Six Paths In addition to everything mentioned, Sasuke can harness the powers of each of the six paths that Pain, who is Nagato, used in the past. That's right, with the Rinnegan. Sasuke could perform the same feats Nagato did when he was an Ero Tensei. In this instance, he can use the path of Ashura to create weapons from his own body. Summon the King of Hell using the path of Naraka to interrogate individuals and use the human path to extract the soul of any person. Moreover, he can summon unique animals granted by the Rinnegan through the animal path. However, for some reason, Sasuke has only used two of these paths. The Preta Path, which absorbs Ninjutsu and Chakra, and the Deva Path, which executes the powerful Shinra Tensei. Indra's Arrow According to Sasuke, this was the strongest attack in the world. He uses this attack in his Susanu mode, summoning a bow and arrow imbued with lightning and thunder. 
What's more, his attack is enhanced by the chakra of all nine biju that he had sealed. This technique was so powerful that it went head to head with the Rasen Shuriken, combined with Biju Dama from Naruto. It seems Sasuke wasn't exaggerating when he claimed this attack was formidable. Without a doubt, Sasuke is one of the strongest characters in the anime. But what's truly strong is when you become a subscriber of the channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated on everything about the ninja universe. However, do you wonder why I didn't list some of Sasuke's transformations in this video? Well, that's because we've already made a video showcasing all of Sasuke's transformations. Click on the screen to go directly to that video. Seriously, Sasuke has many more transformations than you might have imagined. Well, that's it for now. Big hugs everyone.